song called Punk Rock 101. Seriously, you're all beautiful. You're all hot pieces of ass. Each and every one of you. My hands are wet. I'll give you an elbow. Let's do that. How you doing? You're doing great, man. Awesome. Good, uh, good show. Yeah. Good to interview. Sorry. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. How you doing? We're just trying to crash in on this one. Beers later? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Right, See, that's the sort of, that's the sort of festival spirit that we'd like to encourage backstage here at the Reading Weekend Festival. I'm now joined by Bowling for Soup, who've just come off the main stage, who've just enjoyed the pleasures of the main stage, I'm sure, gentlemen. How was that for you? It was, uh, it was very orgasmic, yet... yet uh, not orgasmic? Not orgasmic. Yeah. Oh, hang on, why is that? No, it was incredible. It right. was great. I, mean, just, uh, I, don't, I don't think anybody actually, you know, went in their pants. It's a, it was weird, though, because there's so many people <laughs> out there. It's hard to, you know, it's hard to distinguish. You know who, and it, it, it was weird because I expected there to be a lot of people who hated us, and it, it seemed like everybody was, you know, either enjoying themselves or not hating us. Why? Well, we just played to our parents and a couple of friends. <laughs> this was really good. But this is this is actually part of what would, well, it was a massive tour that's going on for you, and you've incorporated a lot of the festivals that have been being being played all around Europe. What does it feel like when you come to a place like Reading, which has got a tradition of being like a very much a music orientated festival? Right. And so therefore you're going to get a crowd that are up here and they're up for the music. And they're here to listen. That's, but see, that's a, that's a whole UK thing. Like the people, the people here, I mean, from our experience anyway, are general, generally music fans. I mean, they like music. Like you can like Limp Biscuit, and Bowling for Soup and Slipknot and Blink-182 and Rage Against the Machine and Sum 41. I mean, you can like... In the States, it's not like that. In the States, it's like you like this kind of music and that's what you listen to. Very, very so clicky, like yeah. the music fan. Yeah. You know, well, it, it, you're talking about in, in, the, in States. the States. Here, yeah. here it's very diverse. I think it's because we've. There is just so much to tap into, and I think you'd be cutting off your right arm if you decided that you were only going to walk one path. I exactly. agree, and I think a lot most musicians are like that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, and you've got really way. bad dandruff. Yeah, I was wondering <laughs> what the hell that was. <laughs> what is that? Grass. Grass. Yes. <laughs> Ah, the joys of being backstage here. and ready. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, guys, 
thank you very much for having a chat with us. Thank you. It's been an absolute pleasure, and now you're on your way. Well, you're going to hang around for one day, aren't you? No, well, we're here all day today, and then we go to uh, Leeds, and then uh, we'll be back in October for our own tour, so uh, okay. we're excited about that. Well, enjoy your day here, Dan and Remy.